everyone and welcome back to Homeschooly HQ. I hope you enjoyed our last video and don't forget to leave any of your work that you do on our social media. Today we're going to do a little bit of art. This is great fun. Right, so for this activity you're going to need some different paper, maybe some white paper. You can use, if you've got black paper, grey, blue, anything like that. Dark colour would be great. Some masking tape, uh, wax crayon if you're going to use the white paper. And if you've got some pastels, they're absolutely fantastic for this. Right, I'm going to take my masking tape and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a border. And this also helps me stick it down onto the worktop so that it's not going to move around. I'm going to take the masking tape now and create a pattern on my card. So, just take little strips or big strips and try and just join the edges together. So. The great thing with masking tape is obviously you can rip it. So if it's a bit too long, you can take it off. Yeah, any like stray edges like that, I might just fold over. There we go. Now, I'm reasonably happy with my pattern. I'm gonna take my pastels and I'm just gonna color in the black bits that I've left. Okay, and the great thing is when I'm doing it, it doesn't matter too much if I go over the masking tape, because that's what's creating the borders. Now as I'm doing this, it's sometimes a little bit hard to get into the, the corners. So the great thing with the pastels is I can just smudge it in and just smooth it all out. And obviously, the great thing is you get messy with it while you're doing it. <laughs> right, now, I've got all the colouring in, done. My paper's covered. And now the big reveal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently and carefully Sometimes it does break a little bit. Just take off the masking tape. Don't worry if it rips while you're taking the masking tape off, it's just kind of part of the art. There you go. So as I said, you can do the same with wax crayons as well. I've just got a piece of white paper for this one. Again, I'm going to masking tape it up, colour it in, and I'll show you the end result in a minute. Right, so I've done it now with wax crayon, and again, I'm just going to very carefully take off my masking tape, hope it doesn't rip this time, and again as you do it, you can see the pattern emerge, oh, that's way better, there you go, finished that's cool. Now if you're lucky enough to have an outside space, like a yard or a garden, you can also do this outside, come on I'll go and show you. Right, so I've already started setting my pattern up, I'm just going to finish it off with my masking tape. I'm going to take some chalks that I've already got and I'm just going to colour it in again. Right, I'm just going to finish this, this, this last little bit off so you get an idea. And when I've done it, I'll pull the masking tape off and let you see what it looks like. Right, just pull that off. And again, idea how the pattern works. Right, some great ways of doing the same activity and I can't wait to see your pictures. Don't forget to post them on our social media. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Homeschooling HQ. Bye for now.